Today is Saturday, January the 14th, and it is 7.46 p.m. I was about to say dot com. Welcome back, y'all. Oh, gosh. I hope I ain't got ash on my... Well, I'm always doing stuff. I can never get these, like, intros down. Like, it's always something that's, like... I don't know. All right. So, y'all asked for it. Y'all got it. The long-awaited layered look that y'all were asking for. Here it is. So, y'all blew up my inbox. How did you layer it? People were coming at me left and right, like, show us how you cut the layers. Straighten the wig. Cut the wig. Okay, okay, I'm gonna cut the wig. I'm cut the wig. Bro, first of all, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. There won't be a part two of that Nadula wig. It's not gone, it's just, I don't know who that wig is anymore. Okay, y'all, so this is what the wig looks like straight out of the package. This is Altre's Melted Hairline series in the style Jenny, and this is in the color 1B. This is a synthetic wig. Jenny doesn't come with many layers, but she's curled nicely. It's about 16 to 18 inches with a middle part, and I did cut the lace off of this. I didn't tweeze the hairline or nothing, just for the demonstration of this tutorial. I'm just gonna show y'all how to get the layers. If the wig is sitting funny on my head, y'all just ignore that. Like I said, this is just for the demonstration. So I usually section off the front part in front of my ear to the middle of my head and then I'm going to go in and kind of measure how I want the layers to be. I like to cut a little bit below my chin because when you curl the hair you do lose some length. So I'm using some arts and crafts scissors. Y'all go get y'all some shears. I couldn't find mine. Um, just a disclaimer y'all, I'm not a professional stylist. I don't do hair. This is trial and error. So when you cut layers in your hair you're really going to have to work with it. So what I'm doing is just taking the hair and brushing it upwards at a diagonal angle and then cutting where I initially cut it and just kind of going down a little bit. Don't take too much off. You can always go back in and cut more if need be, but y'all can kind of see how the layers are starting to fall. Right here, I'm sectioning the hair off from the top of my ear to the back, and then I'm just gonna curl this. I'm not gonna cut it. This is the exact length I want, so I'm just gonna bump the ends with a flat iron. Um, when you curl synthetic hair, y'all, make sure you use the lowest heat setting possible. Don't use a curling iron, use a flat iron, because you wanna easily pass the hair through. If you use a curling iron, the iron is gonna sit on the hair too long, and it won't mold to the style that you want it to mold to. So I'm just doing some curls on the ends and just kind of flipping it out words to get that volume. So I'm 
taking the section that I clipped up out of the way and I'm just measuring an inch above the back piece that I cut in the bottom just to make sure it's not too long to where it meets the length and it's not too short to where it doesn't look even. Then I take that same piece and I mix it in with the front section. I hold the hair up at a diagonal angle and then I start to trim as I go down. So I'm taking that front section of my hair and just making sure the layer part and the front, the bangs, are exactly how I want them to be layered. This isn't a one cut style, y'all. You're going to have to go in and cut multiple times. I recommend taking a little bit off at a time because you don't want to overcut. You want to undercut. That way you can always go back in and cut more if need be. This is what the wig looks like on this side without any layers, just with the default layers it came without the box. And then y'all can see the layers that I cut into this wig. showing y'all a close-up of what the layers look like versus what they don't look like um, y'all can actually see it's definitely giving more volume and more body to the hair um, the other side is just it's still cute I would still wear it but y'all know me I gotta add layers to my wigs done with this side I'm gonna go back in a little later and curl but now we're gonna move on to the other side and I'm gonna show you how I cut it just like how I cut the first side someone who's an amateur and a novice at cutting hair I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to cut layers um, I'm gonna get a few select handful of people saying oh you're not cutting it right but to be honest if I didn't cut these layers right you wouldn't be on this video So y'all see, I'm just doing the same thing I did at the beginning and just cutting at a diagonal angle, mixing the top and the front piece together, and then just kind of going down and cutting that at an angle. Um, the camera was cut off a little bit, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to probably do another one of these videos with better lighting and um, better camera angles. But y'all can kind of see where the layers are starting to form. Now we're going to go in there and curl it some more. So I'm just curling it and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when you actually go in and just bump the ends so it looks really cute I'm gonna do this throughout the rest of my head
so this is coming along pretty nice um y'all excuse the ghetto ass mop bucket in the background after i got done cutting this hair i was gonna go in vacuum and mop the floor but i'm just coming to y'all to let you know if you really want to achieve this style and get these results it is recommended and i cannot stress this enough to get textured hair do not try this look on a silky wig um it's not going to give you the volume where there is texture there's volume so try this on a textured kinky straight unit you do not want to do this on a silky wig the curls are going to look nice it's just going to sit on your head though And another thing y'all you don't want to curl the hair too tight you want to do a nice bump at the end if you curl it too tight you're going to end up getting ringlets and then the layer look isn't going to be how you want it it's not going to be feathered it's going to be coiled and tangled and it's going to look a mess my baby hairs y'all for the life of me i can't do baby hairs i don't even try um just for the sake of this tutorial i attempted baby hairs y'all gonna get what you get with this video but like i said the sole purpose is to show y'all how to cut the layers and how to get this look Y'all can't sit here and say that I did not eat these layers up, but if you have a short wig or a long wig, you can achieve this style as long as it has the texture. I looked all over YouTube for 1990s blowout supermodel looks, and all I got in the black community were Aaliyah layers. I love Aaliyah layers, not gonna knock my girl, but y'all, I wanted something from Clueless. I wanted that Cher blowout look. Um, if you seen Clueless and y'all saw how Cher's hair was, y'all cannot tell me her shit was not laid but this is exactly what it's given and this was the results that I was hoping for if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more videos and if you made it this far thank you for watching be sure to rate comment like and subscribe and hit the bell button for more notifications from me to come I'll see y'all in my next video